This I know, one bit. Hey, man. But yes, I should have lost. But I'm still taking that to the bank. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> anyway, we'll certainly have another exciting set right here. Gil versus Frozen. Two players I know quite well. Yeah. Uh, Palu Rob. Uh, Magic that I've seen many Robs complain about. Yes. All the time. Yeah, because Palutena wants to nair. It's very prone to shield poking. And Rob is very prone to being shield poked. Yeah, big hitbox, uh, big beefy boy. Gets hit by almost anything. It's like if any one of those little uh, scepter hits gets him, he's eating damage. Yeah, like he just tried to air dodge through that, did not work, cannot air dodge through that nair. Well, Dill has plenty of experience fighting Palutena's because mm -hmm. we certainly do have our fair share in New York. Yeah, we, we have the green hair goddesses. Um, but right now, uh, we, ha so we have Frozen off to the quick lead and doing his patent legend. Uh, I like that he did the uh, edge cancel and then Footstool jumped off Bill instead of a yeah. normal double jump. Yeah, because he, he, he was going to immediately mass jump after that. And anyway, let's see if Dill can pull out the clutch against uh, Frozen. Yeah. Probably seen as one of the weaker Palos in New York, but still very strong. And I'm uh, only saying that because Jen exists. Yeah. His results are wild. Yeah. Well, Frozen gets pretty good results. Yeah, yeah. Frozen, Frozen is pretty... Pretty good results also. Um, right now, you know, oh. huh? Dill's doing a decent job. Yeah, Dill was taking the slow approach, wait and see approach, especially against Palu. He's trying to get into situations where uh... <laughs> I just realized Dill's tag. I, I, I can't read this. Go, he's going too fast. I just realized Dill's tag. He's going too fast. Have a look at it. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. So anyway, no, Dill's trying to get into a lot of situations where it wouldn't be optimal for Palutena to nerf. And from yeah. there, he's just going to stay vigilant for Palutena's shield attacks, you know, back air dash attack. And Dill, uh, Frozen makes a technical error. Dill, yeah. okay, takes a bench by hitting him, but nothing there. Yeah, the nair poking under ledge. Yeah, baiting Boom. him into that. Gets it with nair. So something I wanted to point out that I found out recently is how crossing up works. Like, you can't cross up people in their shields or in general, but I found out what makes the rule not apply, and it's if they're in hit stun or block stun. Okay. That's how you're able to get through shields with dash attack. It's not like some hard coded thing into the dash attack. It's if they're in shield stun, you can go through them. Okay. That makes sense. That At least from what I can tell. I mean, I mean that kind of makes sense. It explains so many of the interactions I've been seeing. But anyway, Frozen managed to even it up. That's actually kind of big against Dill, because when he gets stock lead, Oh boy, you better stop him before he starts running away with it. Yeah, but Dill will take all that momentum to the bank. Yeah, but Dill, you know, pre still pretty much in that lead, you know, 125% to zero. I know, but Frozen capped it at 60 before, you know, he was able to take Dill's stock. Yeah. Before Dill lost his first stock. So that's yeah. good. Yeah, and right now, um... It's really important not to let projectile characters, and especially Dill, to, like, get away with that momentum, because Dill will... Dill is one of the best players at running with momentum in this in the scene yeah he because he, he kind of has like this really annoying flow chart that like that oh, once he that's gets a free punish Ooh. free forwards okay oh and he got the parry just for no reason yeah rob's uh arm road arm rotor has a uh a decent amount of cooldown enough that you can get any forward smash that you want yeah you might even have enough time to falcon punch i'm not sure though i don't think so falcon punch, falcon devin's punch. shaking his head so i'll say that's a no Def definitely not. Nah, that'd be nice though have a move that's falcon punchable like that that sounds terrible um, but with that being said, you know, Frozen trying to space out, um, I mean, at this point, Frozen's looking out for... Nair. Yeah. Nair. Well, he was looking out for Grab. That's why he got hit by Nair. Oh, uh, nice. Th that, that is the second time he got killed by Nair. Oh, yeah, and there's Utopian Ray, the other Palu player. Yeah. I forgot about Ray, and then he walks into the room. Ooh, that get-up attack clipping that Nair. Just thinking about that right, hurt box. We're back in the same situation. Frozen's gonna have to get this kill before Dill starts getting his patented Rob combo. Back, that down throw back here probably works really well on Rob due to his wide frame. He shouldn't do that. Yeah. You yeah. leave yourself vulnerable against Rob, he will I'll be bet. happy. He'll be happy to hit you with anything. Especially when Rob's keep that jump up, um, under ledge. Yeah, that's the idea. Suddenly you get up air. Oh, F tilt. Ooh. Kills. Yeah, jumped into. Dill kind of jumped into that. Palo's F tilt, regarded as the worst move in Smash 4. See what a little bit more X frames could do for you? still kind of bad, but it is kind of active, so it's nice. But as you saw, it barely killed him. But it got the job done, but right now... Oh, and Dill tried to down tilt him into that um, yeah. gyro. Definitely going to get up smash for that one. I would say Frozen can take this back. It all depends on if he can avoid getting grabbed at this point. I'm going to assume Frozen's not one of the players who can avoid down throw, up air, up smash at this percent. So, 
A grab is probably fatal at this point, Tim. I mean, that's when you get the the no mash mash mix up. No, because Dill will see that and just up smash. Although Dill hasn't down thrown him once yet, so Dill doesn't actually know if Frozen has the mash or not, you know? Yeah, uh, I don't think Dill really has had the chance. He's been pretty, playing pretty far away from Palu. Well, it's dangerous to jump to grab Palu because she might yeah. jump out of the way and near you. Yeah. Wow! Ooh, gets the... Oh, that was unfortunate. Gets the hit. Here comes the Nairs. They both, they're both Nair specials. Ooh, and he got nice. him with that glad forward forward tilt, and he Here didn't get go. that Nair. Explosive flames. I'm yeah. sure we'll be seeing plenty of those. Forward air. Oh, oh, double roll. This is Smash 4, but those get slower in this game. What's he going to do? Yeah, Dill will come down with forward air. Dill is... Mm, that's a bad situation. No grab attempt. I'm surprised. Yeah, I don't think he's going to grab uh, um, excuse me, Frozen, especially near the nice. legs. That's a backdoor kill. With all this pressure going on, still manages to squeeze out a uh, platform cancel. All right, Dill's got his... Nice. I'm oh. amazed that didn't make yeah. contact, actually, that air. Not at all. Oh, and... Yeah, fro yeah okay. jumping into Palu is never a good idea. Palu's back air is more base, is a lot more base knockback than you expected, so that could have not killed right there. Like, if you look, it's it, it looked really suspect. Nah, yeah, good like on Frozen. Like he, he disappeared. Can, he toughed it out with grit and determination here. Like, look at him go. Just, I'm, like, I'm, avoids all the kill moves. I think this is the day where people are no, narrowly no. Avoid, avoiding kill I wanna moves. I want to see the full speed. Yeah, that was, that was really close, even though it did the zoom in. Like, Dill could have lived, and then we would have had even more of this game that almost went to time. Yeah. Are we sure this is 9.9? .9? Hmm? Are we sure this is 9.9? Oh, oh my god, 0 0.9. <laughs> Yo, right. Xeno, 164.9? Oh no, don't do this. Don't do this, guys. It's time, boys. It's never time. Oh, but, uh, yeah, we're going back to Battlefield. I agree oh, with this. this song! Please, John, tell me about this song. Multi-man melee for melee. Oh, man. It's just hype as heck. Wireframe for DLC? The wireframe DLC. Dude, it would be hype if the uh, polygons, wireframes, and alloys, like, all joined in on the, like, 100-man smash. That would be cool. That would be cool. It would be the fighting everybody team. Mm -hmm. Every, the, everybody's cool they, here team. It'd be also cool if the assist trophies got in on that. That would be terrible, actually. No, if they could be, like, launched normally. I mean, that, that, that's how you got um, World of Light. Oh, my God. <laughs> but, um, anyway, back to the match. Yeah. And Frozen's looking at a nice lead right now. Gets the up smash. Reed's still coming up aggressively. You don't usually see Dill, like, throw caution to the wind, just swing in that kind of situation. Yeah, right now, it just seems like Frozen's controlling the pace. I think it might have been a mix-up from Dill. Like, he'll never expect me to go aggro. I think Dill knows... Dill is good enough to keep a measure ahead in these kinds of situations. Like, he knows now that he can't just come up and swing. And he should uh, wait to see what Frozen's actions are. Yeah. What I am surprised about, though, is we actually haven't seen Dill... I'm not even sure if he's attempted a grab yet, but we haven't seen him connect a single grab yet this yeah, set. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think he's actually attempted a grab. Wow! Wow! Oh, oh, but Frozen goes too low. I think that's why Frozen was a little apprehensive and apprehensive of going about down there in the first place because you know, know. that can be an option. I know. If you go too low, you're sliding. Yeah, you can't. I think Frozen was low enough that he had to do diagonal, and if you do diagonal, there are some angles that can just get you killed. Yeah, just like you don't want that. But what Frozen doesn't know about is the uh, reflector trick on Gyro. Or maybe he does know. I haven't seen him do it yet, though. Like, for anyone who's watched me fight Dill, uh, one of the things I like to do with the Gyro is instead of picking up, I just reflect it after Dill shoots it with down B and just let it sit there. Because what happens is it keeps the hitbox, and as you know, it's really annoying to pick up. And now Dill has to deal with that. I mean, yeah. and now Rob has to deal with that when you reflect it. Yeah, pretty much. Let him, let him deal with, him, with his own noise. So. For some reason, Wolf can't do it, though. When Wolf reflects it, it disappears faster than normal. Really? According Why is to that? Dark Blue. I don't know. Okay. Dark Blue said so though. Anyway, back to the what back to the characters that are on the screen. Yeah, and um Dill you know, took it back. Already has a nice little lead here. Yeah, after Let's Frozen see. gave him that gift of an SD. Oh. I wonder if he tried to do that explosive thing to stop the gyro. Maybe. That would have been Mensa. I'm sure it was just he predicted Dill would jump there. Oh, first oh, grab. Gotta grab. All right, I don't think he's getting out of this one. Oh, no. He actually popped out. So Frozen has a good mash. That's yeah, good to know. Yeah, quick mash. Not as fast as mine, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, go, oh, yeah, good mix-up by Frozen. Got the back air mix-up into... Oh, yeah. gets the back air. I know, Frozen's counting on that back air. Wow! I'm surprised Dill didn't go high enough that to avoid that. Air. Yeah, I don't know. It barely hit him. Honestly, like, only the last couple hits hit him. I mean, I guess Dill just assumed he was high enough. Yeah. I was just like, uh-oh, I'm not high enough. Yeah, and I'm, and I'm really... 
enjoying that, you know, Gil is staying ground oh. in these situations. Really? Go, gets the back air, doesn't opt for a dash attack after goes for the grab confirm instead. Better for getting him off the stage, but still, quite interesting. There, beats the forward air from Rob. Oh yeah, easy. Rosen has been relying a lot on a lot of his shield moves to uh to stuff out Rob's. Uh, to stuff out Rob's. But the thing is, i he's only been able to like manage trades against Rob's Nair when he's been coming down from above. Mm -hmm. Which isn't bad because Paolo's Nair does a lot of damage, but still it's just like you don't want to trade with Rob's Nair. That's the move you're trying to stop him from landing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow. yeah, ideally, and there you go. Paolo Nair beats Rob Nair. Just beat it wholesale. Alright, we go. Dill's coming in. Okay, Nair fair. We might see a side B from him. No. Oh, oh, back throw. There, back throw. Yeah, get him back throw right off the stage. What's he going to do? He's going to fake him out. He's trying to bait out Dill's double jump. Ooh. Nice. Didn't believe in the back air. Up smash. Oh, up smash. Doesn't yeah. kill. Scooped him. I feel like that might be a turning point. Dill might be willing to just throw caution to the wind at this point and do something crazy. Let's see. Oh, yeah. No. Dill's just, walk mm -hmm. Dill's just walking him into the corner now. Oh, Frozen's a little... All right. Good weight on the down air. Frozen did a really aggressive uh, teleport cancel, though. Yeah. Explosive oh, flame, is that enough? Yeah, yes, it is. And oh, Frozen yeah. upsets Dill. We've been seeing a lot of upsets today. Jesus. Is that, is that really an upset? I mean, not it's according to seating. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, because Frozen, I think, is more recently like outplacing Dill. Huh. Yeah, but Dill has the better head-to-head -head against. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I consider that an upset. Uh, if, uh, the, if they have a known like losing streak against that player.